Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race, and we got the engine ready to go in salty. In the last video, I threw the weld bungs on here. As you guys can see, that's what it looks like, kind of with a the fitting. Then hopefully the drains will go out there. Got the pan on, got the new windage tray installed, got some new bolts, because I'm not sure what happened to the ones that I pulled out of the other one. I think I know, but I'm not 100% sure. Otherwise, we're gonna get this thing rolled over. I think we are ready to go into the car. The K member is now painted black to match the new suspension that we got that's sitting over there and everything else. But otherwise, I think we're ready to go. You ready to put this thing in here? Not Long yet. awaited time? Not yet. Gotta get hydrated first. <laughs> Still gotta do some more. So all we need to do now is get the motor mounts bolted to this thing. I already got all the front and rear covers torqued up. Gotta get this off there now. Get it spun over, hooked onto there, put into there. We've been trying to decide if we're gonna take the Turbo 400 mock-up case, hook it onto it, and then put it in. I probably need to remove the little cross member in there, uh, hook it to the tranny, and then it'll come up in there. Hopefully I don't ding up my new painted firewall or the uh, transmission tunnel too bad, but time will tell. So right when you think all you gotta do is throw motor mounts on it and stick it in the car, the motor mounts hit the side of the new dart block, so therefore you gotta take and grind all this out to notch that so it'll fit. Like I told Alex, why couldn't it just things fit together and he says well if you want it to fit like factory you should have probably left it factory <laughs> so yeah we're a little far from that at this point we got those finally put back on now we're gonna go ahead and roll this unit over which way clockwise counterclockwise left if or right you go right left, left. i go right you go right. i don't know what way this is but let's go that way whoa she ain't light no Whew. all right I did end up throwing these valve covers on there. This is from the old setup, and I'm not in love with these, and I lost the cap to them and all that crap. You're gonna work for a little moat until I find some other ones. With these LS7 CIDs, the rocker arm is actually taller, so you do have to run a taller valve cover with these. I had some billet ones, but they're just not tall enough. Gonna find some other ones to put on here and figure out exactly what I wanna run. For now, that'll keep everything sealed up real nice. Still gonna order a valley cover too and some of that type of stuff, but good enough to get it in the car so I can get headers on this thing and start working on that turbo kit. So what we're hoping to do is be able to hook a tranny to it and put it in at the same time with the car. Uh, and then um, that's gonna help us align the K member too, because it had some tension on it when I was building everything. This might be a little long, might have to find some shorter ones. Yeah, they're a little long. After searching our handy dandy bolt bin, we got everything attached. So let's see if we can slide this thing into the car. All right, so we're gonna try to get this thing swung in here and set in the car. Gonna do our best to not scratch up the new engine bay. Probably put a ding or two in it though. Well guys, the chains are hitting the cowl, so I'm pretty much gonna have to pull it all back out. We gotta put a chain towards the center of the engine and then we can put it back in there, which is gonna be kind of make it a pain with the transmission too, but we'll try. We're trying to do it with, with the one, but we might have to put the tranny in separate. For a car that it's supposed to all go off the bottom anyway, we're, we're trying to make it happen. Well, coming back out, take two. So now we got some chains on here. We're just gonna run the chains with the little spreader and uh, go from there and see what happens. Honestly, I mean that thing could have worked left to right, but then it hits the damn cow right there. So that is screwing us big time. So we're gonna try to run this. Take two with the whole unit and try to get it put in there. This might be a pain with the training, but I'd really like to do it with and know if we can, but if we can't, then we can do it.
Take three. Try and get this thing in there. So we're gonna try it again. We still know we're gonna struggle to have the length to get it there, but it, we're gonna try it without the transmission. Wish us luck. And nothing can ever be easy, right? And that's why all these builds take so long is it's little stuff like this that like we've pulled an engine out of this car before. With this hoist, but now with the new tube front end, I think it's longer. And it was already short to begin with, but I think we were hitting the old radiator sport right in here. And now, so we're four or five inches short of that. We'll get it there eventually. Dang close, coming in at that angle. We had to gain quite a bit of room here. We're still had to push back tension on the engine to get there. So I was trying to get some pins in there so when we drop it, it'll want to pivot. The solid motor mounts on stock motor mount is a pain in the ass. I don't know, I thought about doing a motor plate, but I don't want to mess with the mid plate and all that crap. Still want to leave it streetcar-ish, so I don't know. I'm dealing with what I'm dealing with. Don't judge me! Oh, you're judged. <laughs> Screw it. You're judged. You're done. <laughs> Whew. All right, so both motor mount bolts successfully in and Salty has an engine again. Kind of, sort of. Hopefully we don't have to pull it back out for any reason, but we're in progress. We're making progress. The engine is officially in. The crappy part is, is this chain, the bolt in the back, almost touched the firewall, which it's always really tight. So we really need to get the engine to kind of tilt forward with the tranny. We hopefully have enough room to back that bolt out and get it out of the head. And then should be good. If not, we got to redo everything to get that damn bolt out, to get the, uh, to get the chain out. Really, I should just make a little hook that goes up. That'd be ideal. Good thinking. Maybe one day. Got the car up in the lift. Ended up using this jack right here to kind of tilt the engine back up. So we get that bolt out of the head. Now we're looking great. Uh, I just need to try to get the tranny up in here. Get the cross member back in. That's what's nice about this is it, you know, comes out. And now we're, we got this here. So I'll put it on the transmission right there. And then we get to lift it back up. But don't go anywhere. We're not even close to finish. I think I'm gonna bust out the intake for this thing and get it mocked up here by the end of the video. So uh, just, just keep sticking around. We ended up getting the transmission mounted up in here. We are off about an eighth to a quarter inch here. So we have to kind of pull the transmission across. But as you guys can see, it's pretty well centered up in here. I just think that the engine mounts have always fought me on this deal but otherwise we're good here. So now we can lower this thing down and start putting stuff on the engine and getting ready to build this turbo kit. So now that everything is bolted up and where it should be, we can go ahead and start moving forward with getting the intake on it and then building a turbo kit and all that stuff. So Alex, lower that unit down. All right, so everything's looking pretty dang good. Like I said, those valve covers aren't staying, but we still want to keep mocking stuff up so I can start working on everything in the front end so we can get that finished up. We needed an intake, and imagine that. It's a CID intake to match the CID heads. There's one more really, really cool piece to that, and we're going to get that out here in just a minute once we get this intake on. This is a single EFI LS7 intake, single plane. And you might say, man, that's going to get kind of tall. Good thing we've got the cowl on this unit. Something about like that. That's looking real good. I have a couple bolts. We're going to try molting this down, make sure it's secure in the right spot. Uh, as you guys can see, it definitely had to have the windshield cut to be able to start going here, but it's, it's not bad. If you're just going to run like a throttle body or whatever nitrous combo, this would work pretty good, but that's not what we need where we're going. We need a big old elbow and that's exactly what we got. So let me grab that thing. All right, so here it is, CID elbow. So this thing is a monster. I don't even know if in the video that does it justice. This thing is huge. We're running this. So John at CID Heads told me, I got this elbow, it makes tons of power. It's definitely the absolute best way to go for airflow, but it, it's big, it might stick out the hood. It kind of looks ridiculous. I said, you know what, for YouTube, I love it for the thumbnails, and if it makes the best power, let's do it. We have this all billet elbow. It's got a burst panel and everything in it. It's pretty sick. So we're gonna put this thing on there and see what it looks like. All right, so Ox is gonna do the honor of putting this thing on there see how it plays out I think it's gonna work <laughs> that thing is absolutely ridiculous here we got some hardware get this thing bolted down because that thing will fall off it's a little front heavy but I think this is gonna be absolutely perfect for this thing 
Yeah, I don't even think we have a big enough cowl hood. I'm pretty sure it's still gonna stick out. What do you think? Probably gonna stick out pretty good. <laughs> By quite a bit. I'm thinking that cowl comes in. Probably even got the CID still sticking out of it, but guys, that is wild. I wanted something different for this setup. I think we nailed it. That's gonna be crazy. I've been waiting to try to get this thing set on here so I could check it out. But that gives you kind of an idea. Tube coming off of here, once we get a throttle body on, come down to the intercooler. The intercooler is right in here, so a nice little 45. The twins, and man, is that gonna be a pretty <laughs> thing. That just looks ridiculous right there. That is wild. <laughs> Oh boy. All right, everyone, so that's it for today. We got the engine in, got the insane CID intake on this thing. I am super stoked. Let me know what you guys think about the intake in the comments below. We'll be back again. Well, I'll be back again tomorrow working on this thing. I'll get another video up soon for you guys, so make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys in the next video.